you know, first coming in, I'll never forget the first practice we had. Um, the guys were extremely attentive, um, you know, very, just very professional um, and more nervous than I've ever seen a group. Um, and I've coached every, you know, level from five-year-olds to um, adult men. So they were just really just trying to impress, impress me, um, you know, not just as a female, um, but as a coach. Hey, we have a new coach. Uh, whether we like it or not, she's a female, she's from North Carolina, and she's come all the way to New England to be our coach. Um, you know, when I came in, I wasn't trying to reinvent anything. I just really wanted to see, you know, where everybody was at, um, what motivated them, um, and, and really just try to kind of implement culture back into things. Um, so just really seeing a really big shift in that, not only, you know, just on the field, but in the classroom, which is huge, right? Because we really pride ourselves on being student athletes. For the women's team, it's definitely in the nursing occupational um, arena. Um, it is a very intense program, and I mean, our women are excelling really well in that. They also have each other to lean on. Um, we do have a handful of players from both programs um, pursuing criminal justice, um, and so we were fortunate enough to set up a kind of a, I guess, a field trip to the women's prison, maybe 15 minutes from here. Um, we took both programs separately, um, and they really enjoyed that. And actually, a couple of students now will be interning there. And just as a, you know, institution, really just getting that support. Um, and small school, small town, word travels fast. So um, in this sense, it was, hey coach, like I hear, you know, culture is really big for you. and. Um, it, you know, it's really coming together or, oh, I've got a really good, um, you know, athlete, but her grades, you know, so things like that um, has really just kind of filtered everything back into our program there. Within the program, there have been several coaches. And so, um, you know, Corey, Coach Corey, and my approach was going to be, let's just see where they're at. Again, same thing. Let's see, you know, where they're at academically. Let's see where they're at on the field. We can watch film. We can get progress reports all day long. But let's just see, you know, demeanor, body language, you know, what they're bringing, um, what we can offer to them. And for sure, right off the bat, that was stability. So the glory about rugby is the rules are the same, um, you know, for both men and women in the sport. In terms of coaching philosophy, really um, just doing my due diligence, right, in the research and. Obviously having Coach Corey as an alumni here, just knowing the history of both programs, um, their success on the field, their success in the classrooms, um, their interaction within the community, um, with the mayor, having you know the rugby day, um, going to Rex's Pantry, you know, all of these things that make our program successful. You know, students before athletes. Um, in a perfect world, you know, we have a collegiate All-American with a 4.0, right? Um, but right now we're really just trying to get people in here um, that want to better themselves academically and want to better themselves on the field. Yeah, we're, I think we're on the right path. And again, you know, if we can just continue offering um, consistency and stability to these players and keep our expectations high, we are going to be a force to be reckoned with, not only academically, but on the pitch.